Once again, we are thrilled to visit the great state of Vermont and the Queechee Club, just a few miles off of Route 89 and next door to the beautiful town of Woodstock. Welcome to another edition of Golfing the World. Today we're at the Queechee Club. Two courses to tell you about. Great place to play some golf and spend some time with your friends and just decompress the good things in life. The lifestyle here is just so relaxed and clean air and clean water. It's a beautiful place to raise your children. You come to Vermont and you really feel like you're, you're getting away from it all. Well, first I start with a normal private country club. A family decides to join and there's aspects, facilities for that private country club. But for here, there's such a diversity uh, with the pool, with a uh, swim team, and some really extraordinary recreation programs. PGA head pro TJ Anthoyne is a remarkably pleasant host. And why not? The, the lifestyle is nice and relaxing, super friendly up here. You know, fresh breath of air up here for sure. Nice crisp air like, like we have today. The Queechee Club has two distinct courses, certainly challenging, plenty of character, and carved into the amazing Vermont landscape. The morning's here, foggy, cool, sun breaks through and it's beautiful and then you know right back when the sun goes down those temperatures drop real quick so it's nice for sure. Kevin welcome to the Queechee Club man. It's good to be here. Yeah. Could use a little decompressing that the mountain spring. It's been a while since I've been here. I'm looking forward to it. Well today. you're in the right spot man. Let's have some fun. Okay. The way we say it in the golf shop is, is Lakeland's like a Florida course. You know, it's flat, lots of water. There's a lot of carry shots, but the terrain isn't very undulating. The river's not in play too, too often. We do say that there's 17 holes on Lakeland, do have water in play. But, you know, water's, the river's right there. You know, it's, it's nice and relaxing. I'm trying to picture the shot that I want to hit in my head, but I'm very distracted by what's over here. It sounds so nice, doesn't it? I imagine there's a brown trout holding behind one of those. I'm, I'm sure there is, waiting for you. That works. It's a cool spot. You know, it's kind of in the corner of the property, right behind the ninth green. The Ottaquichi River runs right to the the covered bridge, which is the logo you see at the Quichi Club. Um, it's a relaxing spot. Is herons hanging around there? Um, tons of nature. Nice and quiet. You know, furthest furthest point from the clubhouse. And then you step up on the 10th tee and you're, you're going back and looking right at the mountain. So it's a beautiful, beautiful area of the course. Three good ones together. That's it. Ready to go, man. All right. One of the best holes in New England, elevated tee shot. It's a beautiful hole. You just got to pick a line, trust it, and pull the trigger. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, hit the hill. Boy, that killed it. It did. Oh, come oh, on, right? Got a boy, TJ. That's a heck of a putt. Good birdie on a good hole, too. It's a good, just a good part three. Yeah, Pins all the sure way back. Usually, time flies when you're having a great time, but and it is. But at the same time, it's slowing down, which I think is that's the magic of the place. You slow down and just. Enjoy the time. Highland is a true Vermont course. You know, lots of undulations, lots of elevation changes, lots of uneven lies. You know, there's there's more woods. Uh, you're you're kind of walking through the woods in the backside of Highland. Yeah, they're they're not much like at all, which is the beauty of this place. <laughs> Perfect. 
Great four. Thank you. Yeah, it's a great hole. The fifth hole on the Highland course at the Koichi Club. Par five. Wasn't in a position to go for it in two, but put it in a good spot where I could trust my wedge and hit it tight. Yeah, five to six, a little switch back down the hill. Almost like you're standing on top of the tee box as you start to drive down to it. Look to your left, the river's right there. Quick little hill. It's a cool little ride. All right, so here we are on the sixth hole on the Highland course with the mountain in the background and everything and the river, it has to yeah. go somewhere. Yeah. So it dog legs right. We're going dog leg right, right around the corner. You can't see the green from here, but uh, the line is to just hit it right at those pine trees into the fairway and swing as hard as you can. With your baby fade, with right? baby fade. All right, we'll get up and rip it. Right. Oh! Ah, a little too much to borrow. Ah, parts not bad. Good for it. Nice late afternoon sun, long shadows. This is why we do it, right here. <sighs> you got that right. I like the Highland. The elevation, just the way it ought to be, not too much, not too little, good perspective everywhere, just a wonderful time. All right, so tell me about 12 here. Here we are, 12, we got uh, uphill par three, probably playing 175 today, pins in the back, pretty friendly green. So it's a tough shot right here, you go down over the valley, up to an elevated, up to an elevated green. Oh yeah, stay right there. A straight, dreaded straight ball? Definitely a tough test of par threes on the Highland Golf Course. The easiest one on the scorecard is 175 yard first hole, your first shot downhill, par three. And then you get to eight, eight can play 250 if you wanted to. 12 is 200 uphill, and 17 is, is 220 down the hill. What a view! Yeah. What a hole! Yeah, this is, uh, this is the last one of the best uh, par threes we have on property here. 220 from here, big green, still doesn't mean anything. He's still gonna make the shot. What's that, a four iron for you? Yeah, I got a four iron today. Hopefully it's enough. You better rip <laughs> it too. Get to the top of the 17th hole, you can see the entire Queechee Valley. You can't see pretty much until 30 yards in front of the green. The green is huge, but it's a tough shot, you know, coming in for sure. Wow, here we go again. Just the. The elevation is the downhill here and then uphill the elevation in the background is just perfect. Yeah, it's a great par five finishing hole to take us home. Can I get there in two? No way. Perfect time of day. The sun is setting just over the mountains over there. The land is stunning. The golf is fantastic. It's quiet. You hear nothing other than an occasional bird chirping or a duck, wildlife. Serene. Good shot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thank you. Good ending to a wonderful day. Great for it. So at the end of the day, we retire to one of two great restaurants. There's a great deck that overlooks the course where the good golf shots of the day are replayed and the local brew happily sampled. First of all, it's um, a four season community and I don't think a lot of people realize that about Vermont. They think skiing, but in the summertime, it's absolutely beautiful with the outdoors and the hiking and the, and the kayaking and the golf. And in the winter, we have a beautiful ski season. Um, and the best thing about Kutu Lakes is it's community. It's a great place to visit. There's uh, something for everyone here. So there you go, another great day of golf in the mountains of Vermont. Vermont never disappoints. Two great courses, the Highland, the Lakeland, and a sense of community, a place that really gets it. The Queechee Club on Golfing the World.